Hello, people. Okay, let's try this again. It is Wednesday afternoon. I'm staying late tonight for work, so I've been trying to find a place to vlog. Oh my gosh, trying to find a place to vlog is hard. My new apartment is too noisy. I walked around all morning trying to find a place this morning. There's so much construction. I just tried my office. The overhead lighting is horrible. Anyways, gonna try this again. And I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes. So this video today is about my photography. I've had a number of people who've asked me just to provide some clarification again um, about this trip and my photos. So anyways, um, I've spent the last 10 years working my butt off, staying clean and sober, getting an education, getting a job, getting an apartment, all that stuff. Um, being a productive citizen of society, whatever you call it. Anyways, uh, so now I feel comfortable at a point in my life where I could just take off for a year and travel. And I've always wanted to do that. And to sound cheesy, you only live once. And I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I can take off and do that with the support of my community. So I gave my notice um, and now I'm saving money. So I don't want to be just another privileged person going to countries, taking up space, getting drunk, eating, blah, blah, blah. You know, there's so many YouTube videos out there, amazing vlogs, blogs, world travel vlogs, all of these people traveling the world, amazing videos. Like they're great. Like they're beautifully done. Amazing shots. But I want to see people interacting with the locals. I want to see people having conversations. Um, <clears throat> learn, learn about the history of the land. Learn about the place that you're visiting, um, which I feel so many people forget to do. Really, a lot of these videos are like, ooh, I'm on a beach, I'm getting drunk, I'm having a few drinks, I'm partying, woohoo, and that's it. And people don't actually take the time to have these conversations with the locals, with the elders, with the youth. And uh, I just feel like that's missing. And I feel like, yeah. So anyways, so the so I created uh, this project, started this project called Nations and Voices. So as I travel, I want to visit different indigenous centers, international student centers, BIPOC spaces, meeting with folks, uh, taking their photo, having them share just a little bit about themselves with their photo that will be shared with a much larger audience and uh, in hopes to create conversation, raise awareness to help educate people who are following along on this journey. Any money uh, raised or any money um, that comes out of this project when I get back, I plan on donating that back after expenses back to BIPOC spaces. Um, yeah, so I just I want this project to be more than just me taking off for a year. And you know what? I have I have met some haters so far, which are like, oh, you just want to travel for a year, and it's like, well, yeah, of course I want to travel for a year, but I want I want it to be something more than just me traveling for a year. Um, so an example of what I'm talking about is uh, these two pictures I'm going to put on the screen right now. So this person is Nikita. Nikita is a friend of mine. Nikita is a student who just graduated this year uh, from our campus. Nikita is Inuit, and uh, her and I hung out one afternoon. Uh, we both have cameras, and I took a, few, a number of photos of her. The two photos I posted and edited on uh, these two pictures, within less than 48 hours, they got over almost 30,000 views. People all over the world were sharing these pictures. She was, uh, she received so many positive comments, people who wanted to support her um, with what she was doing. In her uh, pictures, she talks about uh, the seal hunt and the controversy about the seal hunt in her home community. So uh, you can find those pictures on my Facebook page and read her story. But her pictures are an example of what I want my pictures to do. I want my pictures to create conversation. I want my pictures to... Uh, help educate, raise awareness uh, for people to talk about what's going on in other communities, other territories, other lands. 
Um, and again, like I said, I just don't want to be another person who's just um, a privileged person who's just taking off for a year. I really just want something meaningful for me to come out of taking off for 11 months. So anyways, and I want to use this guy uh, to help me. So anyways, so yeah, so check out those two photos on my Facebook page, on my Instagram. Uh, read the stories. There's a number of other people that I've already taken pictures of. Um, there's still, much I, still so much i got to learn about photography. I'm an amateur photographer. This fall will be two years that I've been taking photos. And um, I've reached out to uh, an Indigenous photographer, local photographer, who's agreed to mentor me throughout the, throughout the summer. So I'm really excited about that. He's been a friend of mine for years. Uh, so him and I are going to be spending some time together over the summer, uh, out in the field, taking photos. He's going to show me some editing stuff because I want to feel confident in my photography skills uh, before I leave. And speaking of, I'm actually taking photos of a wedding this Sunday um, for a friend of mine who's getting married. I told her not to expect anything fancy because I'm still learning, but I will try my best to take some amazing photos. And um, yeah, so save the date, August 16, 2017, uh, the Downtown Museum, Kitchener, that is where I'm having my fundraiser. The venue's been secured, it's a go. I have a, an amazing lineup of artists performing. I have a bunch of artwork that's been donated to my fundraiser already. If you're interested in donating something, let me know. Um, it's gonna be a huge event. Fun evening, August 16th, uh, mark it down. I'm so excited. This fundraiser is going to be a huge help with me getting this project off the ground, allowing me to travel, take pictures, um, to meet with other BIPOC folks um, as I travel. So yeah, my five minute ramble again has turned into seven minutes. So anyways, uh, miigwech. Uh, thank you for supporting me and uh, just with everything that I do. Huge thank you to everyone for believing in me and uh, helping, me, me, helping me make this happen. So see you guys later, bye.